Most high, all powerful, all good Lord, all praise is yours, all glory, all honor, and all blessing. To you alone, most high, do they belong. No mortal lips are worthy to pronounce your name. Be praised, my Lord, through all your creatures, especially my Lord, brother, son, who brings the day and you give light through him. And he is beautiful and radiant in all his splendor. Of you, most high, he bears the likeness. Be praised, my Lord, through sister moon and the stars. In the heavens, you have made them bright, precious, and beautiful. Questa mostra è come titolo è molto semplice, Frate Francesco. Quindi è una mostra dedicata a Francesco all'interno della Biblioteca del Sacro Convento. Quindi noi abbiamo scelto un numero abbastanza ristretto di pezzi eh, che sono quelli più strettamente legati alla sua persona, tracce, cioè i manoscritti che riguardano precisamente la sua persona o la sua diciamo, glorificazione, quindi la Basilica di, di Assisi, parole, quindi le leggende, leggende nel senso medievale, cioè testi che erano letti in un contesto pubblico liturgico, e immagini, quindi i manoscritti in cui sono miniature che raffigurano Francesco. It is fitting that a man who gave his life to the betterment of mankind has an opportunity to be uh, in a country that is in great need of revisiting what it means to be part of the human experience. Well, I think the short video that showed him in a, a very ordinary clothing, um, linen type in New York is really a message of how we view each other. If St. Francis was alive today because he committed himself to the poor, we would have been looking down on him instead of lifting him up. So we can't only lift up great people retrospectively, we have to lift them up during today's time and we have to consider how we're treating those who are less fortunate than us and I think that's what St. Francis represented. We're all excited about this exposition. The, pos the opportunity to allow Brooklyn Knights and people from throughout the world to come and to view the manuscripts for the first time in the United States is amazing. So we're just excited to have the manuscripts here. I did a little bit of research about him many years ago because my son graduated from a school named after him in Brooklyn called St. Francis of Assisi. So I found out that he had a very good heart and a kind heart and that he was instrumental in uniting some of the people in Italy. So that was a good thing. To be part of the planning committee, the process here at Borough Hall, to see it now come to fruition, it is like a dream come true. And to have it at Borough Hall, I think, is absolutely a pleasure. Uh, it's a treat. And for it to be free to the public here in the U.S. and in Brooklyn, I think it's just an added pleasure for everyone. I hope everyone who is watching this video understands the excitement that I have and feel the same way because St. Francis was definitely a saint of uh, the poor and I think he would have really appreciated doing this for free and having everyone learn about him who do not know about him. This exhibit being open to the public here 
is more than we could ever, ever have anticipated. The fact that this is going to be open to the public, to the masses, says so much because it's so consistent with St. Francis. When I think about St. Francis and I think about what they have encased the manuscript in, that woodwork, it's recyclable wood from Brooklyn. The fact that we're not just using any type of wood, but it's recyclable, is consistent with everything that St. Francis stood for. So I'm hoping that this exhibit will speak to the hearts and minds and the souls of people, not just in Brooklyn, but in America, because people are coming far and wide just to see this exhibit. After the United Nations, uh, Brooklyn Borough Hall is the ideal place for this uh, exhibition. I think it's uh, outside Manhattan uh, in a borough where uh, there is an enormous Italian presence. Uh, together with other communities, uh, which is important, is an example of uh, cohabitation, uh, co um, understanding. I think it's something in line with the uh, message of uh, San Francisco of Assisi. St. Francis is someone that we, we need him here in Brooklyn uh, today. We need, we need him here in New York City because we have so many problems, you know, of, of people not understanding the importance of brotherhood, of, of fellow human beings, and of, of peacemaking, you know, that, 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 that idea of guiding people towards making peace with one another is so important. You know, so I, I think it's extremely important, uh, particularly in these days, uh, for this exhibition to be here. And I hope so many people in Brooklyn will come and, and, and visit and, and see it. What does it mean to be a Franciscan in New York? Uh, it, it means to, to, to do, to try to follow in the footsteps of St. Francis, who was someone who, who was someone who had encountered Jesus. He had encountered Christ and it changed the way he saw everything and especially everyone. So that Francis was someone who discovered in the people that he met the hand of God. He saw that God had a destiny for each one of these people and so to be a Franciscan today in New York means to do the same thing, to meet people, to look into their eyes and to see what God wants for them and to try to help them uh, receive the happiness that God has destined for them. It's absolutely true that the message of St. Francis is about peace, it's also about the environment, but that would be something that any good politician would say. There is something different and much deeper, much more important. It's the courage that uh, a man who repudiated everything, starting from his money, 800 years ago or so, the courage of a man who embraced not only that, but he praised death. I think this is the greatness of his message, because he understands and he makes us understand that first of all, death is part of life, and second, that there is a real life that comes after death. I think that passage marks the difference. That's the real revolution of Frate Francesco.